Hello everyone, it's Rebecca with the Bible Art Journaling Challenge. I'm going to show you how to create on the back side of a Bible page when you've already done some creative work on the other side of your page. Sometimes it can feel like that might conflict. I've had so many questions about how to make both the uh, one side and the other side both be individual artwork without kind of bleeding through or showing through and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So there's a few steps th and this is what I can do. You can see right now that I created this without any gesso and so it kind of bled through and that was months ago and I have a new one that I've tried out, this Dina Wakely Clear Gesso. I've tried it out and officially it is even better than the Art Basics Clear Gesso that I've been telling you about. So I would really encourage you to get some. But I want you to see that I just gave this a couple of shakes while it was closed and it's put it in the lid and you can see how it's kind of holding a stiff peak like that. And now I'm gonna open the Art Basics Clear Gesso, which I tell everybody is my favorite. And you can see that it's a little bit runny, but you, when you close it, you don't want it to go onto the rim because that will cause it to kind of glue closed. But I'm gonna use this new Clear Gesso from Dina Wakely. It was sent to me by scrapbook.com to test out, which was very sweet of them. And I am loving it. So I'm using this foam applicator and I'm just tapping it onto the lid and having it in a lid form like that, although it does also come in a small tube, which you can try out if you want for a smaller amount of money. I find this to be really helpful because I can just tap it into the lid just like that. And because it's really thick like this, what happens is it introduces less liquid to the surface of my page, which means that I will have less uh, wrinkling of my page. So I, as usual, have put on one thin layer and then I'm drying it completely with my heat gun. And yes, that heat gun is the secret to my flat pages. And then I put a second layer on, as usual. And I just want to show you this foam applicator is stapled at the bottom here. You just want to hold it and then you can see that that's got a lot in there. So I've washed it straight away because it'll act like a glue otherwise. And then I'm using a little bit of washi tape, just some old one that I have from Paper Chase, and I am kind of removing some of the tack with my fingers so that it doesn't stick to the page too much. Now I'm pulling out white gesso. All gesso is not the same. You want to use a clear gesso over your page if you want to see the text. And then you can use this white gesso on the margin of your page if you want to cover something up. So I'm using a credit card here. It doesn't matter that I get it absolutely perfect and I want to do some scraping with these acrylic paints. So I'm firstly going to kind of cover and already you can see that you can't really see the color that was bleeding through from the previous page but because I put the clear gesso down first there won't be a problem with whatever I'm doing on this side kind of soaking through and bleeding through to the other side where I've created something. The clear may have soaked up a little bit into that other side, but it doesn't actually matter because it's clear. So it just soaked up some clear and that's perfectly fine. So that's why I didn't do white first. And as you can see, I've washied everything in place so that my bottom little craft sheet that I've got there won't kind of shift around and that will allow me to not have any of the paint that I'm going to introduce actually get on any of the previous pages but it also won't then move around and get on the other stuff. You might be gasping I'm about to add black to my page but this isn't going to show through it's all on top of the white and I'm scraping it around literally I'm tapping the top of this I'm not squeezing any paint out I'm just introducing a tiny bit to the edge of my card and you can see how bold that is. I'm just adding a little bit and I'm adding it really, really randomly so that somewhere it is on the edge, on the outside edge. Sometimes it's on the middle towards the text and sometimes it's right in the middle. And I'm trying to add it all the way around, even on the left and the top, wherever I can get away with adding it so that it doesn't just look like I dropped a bunch of paint on the right hand or the bottom side, but it kind of feels like a cohesive whole page. So that's how I'm choosing to do it. And you can see that it does add a little bit of kind of a textury feel to everything because I'm using that old room key, or I think it's a gift card. So 
Never heat the page when the washi tape is attached to it because it will heat up the sticky and make it stick on your page a lot harder and that would be sad. So don't do that. Um, take that washi tape off before you heat it up and just keep moving things around so that you don't end up with the paint leaking behind. And basically you'll end up with everything on top of the clear gesso on this side and everything else that you created on the other side will just stay on the other side. So this is looking like quite a lot of paint and the trick is put it in place and then kind of pull your credit card up right to the edge and scrape it across and it will just beautifully start to make all of your words see right through it. So you can actually see everything that is written on the text. I just scrape straight over it and it just makes everything show up through it. It becomes kind of translucent because you're doing it so, so thin. So I am going to link to all of these products over on my blog and I will link to the Liquitex Heavy Body Black um, as well as the set that that black that I use comes in, but it is much cheaper and um, a much better quality paint if you just buy the Liquitex Pro. So I will link to both of those over there. And basically you can see that I've completely covered pink in that side margin and it's because I've got some fun stuff coming and I wanted to block it all out and not have very much white showing. But remember, white space is key to your creativity, so don't make all of your white space disappear. And then you will have something that just looks a little wild and it, like paint got flung everywhere and that's what I was after. So I'm using this Illustrated Faith You Rule Bible Mat and I'm gonna use some alpha stickers here and some other stickers from the Genesis collection that Shauna Noel created. I do really like these, they're cardstock stickers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna color them with some distress ink because I thought um, a different color might be fun. If I wanted, I could just put the white on and I'll show you and that would be really cute, but you'll see here what I'm gonna do as it unfolds. So I'm putting them on the Illustrated Faith Bible map because it is plastic and so it is able to be non-stick essentially. So I'm sticking these on there and they're not gonna stick and not move. I can pick them back up off the plastic. So that's if I just put them on like that, it would be super cute just like that. But I'm going to go a bit further and add some color to some other stickers and create a little saying here. So the scripture for this week is 1 John chapter 3 verse 1 which says in this new american standard bible see how great a love the father has bestowed on us that we would be called children of god and such we are for this reason the world does not know us because it did not know him now i love the first part of the translation that NIV has that first part of that verse it says see what great love the father has lavished on us that we should be called the children of God I love it see what great love the father has lavished on us lavished is for something to be generously kind of poured out on us and I think it's beautiful to think of the love of God just being lavished on us and that's from the father he has poured so much love on us and so I've I've taken this little color wheel to just reference for myself if I wanted to add certain color and I decided to add um, a color across the color wheel which was the green and I am just going to pick up some distress ink which is a water-based ink and then put it over the top and people have asked me why I do this with distress inks but amazingly this is actually what Tim Holtz expected distress ink to be used for. People do use it for stamping but it's a different type of ink pad that's really meant for this sort of application and it is really fun. So I'm going to get that dry not very long because obviously I've got it on a plastic sheet that I don't want to hurt and I noticed that a little bit of the cardstock peeled up so I'm just using some little glue there, tiny bit, and just putting that back in place. And then I'll pick all of these up and just put them right back on the surface, which will be 
perfect for me. So I don't want to get my fingers ruining the sticky, so I'm using some tweezers and I will bring in my junior T-square just to help me line everything up. I could certainly eyeball this if I wanted, but I wanted to make everything just a little bit more straight and so I've used that, which I really enjoy. So to me, I feel like the, the love of God being lavished on me is it's something that I need to be reminded of. Just We all need to be reminded that the Father has lavished his love on us. We are incredibly blessed to have a God who is the creator of the universe, who actually wrote a love letter to us, which is the Bible. And one of the things it says in it is that we are lavished with his love. He is lavished on us. And I am so grateful that I have the ability and the right to be a child of a God that is so loving and so wonderful. And aren't we blessed people to have that option to embrace the love of a father who is that in love with us? So I want to just encourage you that if you're not feeling the love of God or you're feeling a little bit isolated from what things that you want happening in your life, just be refreshed in the presence of God this week and recognize how much love has been bestowed upon you. So as I finish this up, I just want to remind you to go and spend some time in the word with me, do this challenge with me, and it's just really easy to do. There's some really fun ways in which you can join in, and I've got a full archive, which I'll show you here in a moment. And I just wanted to finish this up by putting a bit of some Signo white pen around the outside. This pen works brilliantly on just about every surface. I absolutely love it. So I went on around the edges of it with white to just kind of make it pop off the page, which you can see in the photos here in a moment. And then I used a 01 black micron to add a little bit of a black line to the left hand side of all the main letters there just to make them have a little bit of contrast, which I really enjoy how they turned out. I think this is really a fun page. It has a, a real bright spot to it. And I think it really reminds me of the love of God that I have and that I'm a child of God. And yes, there is a huge context to the scripture and I'd really encourage you to have a look at it. And if you want to create that way, go for it. But there's so much there. So have a look at it. And I just want to encourage you to go spend some time looking through the challenge. It's all free and you can come and join me and on my blog and all of these are linked below. And if you want to join me in helping impact people on Patreon, then go ahead and do that as well. I'd love to have you join me and partner with me to help people get into the word. And there you can see it. So the other side on both sides looks just great and I love how this turned out. As a reminder, everything that I mentioned today, including links to all the products and places that I talked about are all linked below the video if you're on YouTube and I hope you'll come and join me on my blog and hang out with me. I hope to see you very soon. Love you guys.